let's say that you've got a course that you've used in the past. Maybe it was a practice course. Maybe it's a quarterly course that's from a quarter gone by. And in that course now, you've got all sorts of content and settings, and you want to just wipe it clean. You want a clean slate so that you can use it to practice or do something else. So the first thing I would do would be to go to the lesson content. And on the preferences link up here at the top, I'm going to click on that and then click on top level delete menu. Make sure that that's checked and hit save. And now if I go up here on my menu, I can click delete and then I can delete sub items. And right here, I can just put a check in the checkbox next to all of the lesson content that I want to get rid of. Okay. And when I've got them all selected, I'll hit okay. Ask me if I do want to permanently delete this content, and I do. All right, so once everything has deleted, and this may take a while if you have a lot of content in your course, so you may want to go do something else for a while, you'll see a list of all the um, files that have been deleted with deleted next to their name. You can click OK, and then done. And now I see that my lesson content is totally wiped out. I'm going to click on the Manage tab and then go to Environment Variables. And you may have set some of these environment variables, and, or Angel may have set some of them. They're just ways that Angel stores information about the way the course should be configured. So if um, you're going to be working with a clean slate, you want to delete all of these. So delete those one by one. Once all my course environment variables are deleted, I'm going to click on the Manage tab again, and then go over to Data Maintenance. And here I'm going to select all of these things, tracking data, instructor notes, chat logs, all of this good stuff for every one. And I'm not going to set a date range. I'm just going to say it for all time. And notice it tells me that, again, this stuff cannot be recovered if it's been deleted. And I'll wipe out all that. And then I'm going to go into the course gradebook here. And I'm going to go to categories. And seeing as I'm using the quote classic gradebook, which I have to have turned on because I deleted all my environment variables and an environment variable is how you set it to the new gradebook. So anyway, I'm in the old gradebook here and so by deleting categories I will delete all assignments that are in those gradebook categories as well. Alright, so now uh, it's wiped the gradebook out and it wants me to completely, if I click on the gradebook it will, it will want me to go into gradebook setup here. And so now I have a course that's free of lesson content. It has uh, no settings or gradebook settings, anything like that. And I'm ready to, uh, to start playing with it.